The juice going, going back to uh, going home. I mean, that, uh, What'd you say? Just playing in Texas again. Or what was that? Oh, that's unbelievable. I mean, uh, I remember my freshman year, I played at Cowboy Stadium in high school. And, then, you know, a couple times here. So, I mean, I'm just glad to be back. Do you do you feel like that's going home, or do you feel like that's going where you live for <laughs> for five years, you know what I mean, or four years, whatever it was, uh, six years? I was born in Springfield, Ohio, but I feel like Texas will always be my home. Yeah, kind of like Davy Crockett. <laughs> yeah, you there, like that. you're a Texan. Uh, <laughs> Misha, I'm, what, what do you miss from down there? You know, you, you and I have talked about that before, but what, what is it you miss most from not being in, in um, Texas? I always like to call myself like a Southern guy, I'd say, and just the feel like it's a it's a completely different field down there. I mean, football. I mean, Ohio State is Ohio yeah. State, but even high school football down there is big. The whole city shuts down, everything. And you you moved down there. I'm trying to remember the story, didn't an uncle kind of yeah. talk y'all into uh, like you you get more. It was like, sixth grade, and my uncle told my mom that I'd have a better shot get it recruited for football if I moved down in there. In sixth grade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It worked out. <laughs> Which uncle was that, by the way? What was his name? Uncle Jerome. <laughs> Jerome Cavett. What was his? Yeah. Jerome that's, Cavett. And so it worked out that way. Yes, sir. What, what did you immediately notice once you moved to Texas about football? Uh, just to feel, like I said, no matter if it's, I don't know, middle school football, high school football, everything is, is dramatic down there. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about I think Ohio you should State. know, Demetrius, that Tim also moved to Texas when he was a kid. <laughs> oh, good man. Why yeah, yeah. That's why I like him so much. Yeah, yeah. 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 see? Exactly right. I grew up in Demetrius, Lufkin, man. Uh, the tempo that you guys are playing right now. Can you, when you're playing as fast as you've been playing, what do you see on the face of the defensive players? Uh, I'd say that they're they're really not prepared for our speed because yes we like to run the ball down the field just play tough you know smack you as hard as we can but I mean we like to go fast too and you can tell when we line up against other teams they're not used to that tempo. And you guys have done that obviously before it's been top of brought. Yeah. Is, are you guys going any faster this year? That's the plan. As and, fast as we can. And when when was that? Uh, when did coaches start talking about that? Uh, that's always been our motto. But uh, I can see that our coaching staff is pushing that a lot more. And, you know, we're just trying to get the rough out the way so we can go as fast as possible. Get the what? The ref. The ref. Oh, right. <laughs> how, far, how far have you come as a player just in the last 12 months, you think? Light years, i say. I mean, just uh, from the guys last year, Zay and Billy and Jamarco just helped me and pushed me along and all that stuff. I could just see the, the change. Going back, I watch uh, – film from like a year or two ago and the player I am now is just night and day. Did you notice it while it was happening? Did yes, you, for sure. Like what what changed? You know, what was it? Um I'd say I could just I just felt like it was my time and then I just felt like I just matured whether it was on the field, off the field and you know once I started uh, taking it more uh, more accountability for myself, everything just slowed down and the game became more easy. You carry a real confidence out there. Yeah now. Big time. When so many people talk about tempo, they talk about the physical aspect of it, you wearing down other teams, how do you avoid getting fatigued yourself? Could you talk to us about the mental aspects of it? Because I imagine you have to make adjustments, decisions really quick, those plays got to come in really quick. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's all we do, whether it's from coach making the off season, everything we do is fast. If we're in the weight room, we're moving fast. If we're going between meetings, we're going fast to the next room. So I mean, mentally, that's, we're trained in this building. Everything we do is fast. So when we get to the field, it's signal, boom. Down the stands, look at the line of the defense, look at the front, everything, boom, go. In that respect, uh, TCU likes a lot of, you know, they get that four-two-five defense, but they like to blitz a guy, especially like to blitz on first downs a lot of times to kind of get a, Tackle for loss to set up the rest of the you know the rest of the series and stuff. What what have you noticed about them in that respect? Uh, uh, how difficult will it be kind of picking out what's going on? Uh, I trust our coaching staff and uh, you know the way that they prepare us every week. Yeah. When it's time for game times, it's it's so easy. It's just like oh snap. Even these past two games, it's like you look at certain fronts and formations, and you're just like dang. Coach told me about this. He's going here. Ball snap. He's right there, and he's like oh coach coach Stud Wilson whatever. He was, he was right. When you watch these guys on video, what jumps out at you about their defense? Uh, about the way they do attack? I have a lot of respect for TCU. I mean, yeah. uh, I'm All Saints. I went there for high school, and it's like five minutes away. Right. But I mean, you know, they got a lot of. Uh, they got a lot of skilled players on defense. They're real fast. Their interior guys are strong. But I mean, 
can't wait for game time. Hey, you know, I mean, talk, talk to me about that, though. I mean, you, you know, your junior, senior year, you know, you had offers from Alabama, Texas, you committed to Texas and then backed off, you know, because I think the Mac Brown regime yeah. was going. But what was it like during that time? How heady was it to have Ohio State, Texas, Alabama, UCLA, uh, all these big-time schools coming after, in, in, even TCU, but um, you weren't that interested in TCU, I guess, right? It, it, was, it was just a big blessing from God. I mean, uh, being from that area and the DFW area, I just, I just love the state of Texas. I mean, even TCU, I was actually really considering TCU really? because uh, as signing day got closer, I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to Ohio State, can't wait. You know, it's been my dream school since second grade, but the, the thought of actually leaving Fort Worth and leaving Texas and just going to a whole new area and environment, I was just like, ah, uh, uh -huh. maybe I want to go to TCU. <laughs> but, you know, I stuck to my guns and it worked out. But you know what I'm leading to here is, I mean, you came up, I mean, we all thought you were a superstar, <laughs> you know? Uh, and it took took a while. Yeah. How tough was the taking a while part? Well, uh, I think anybody who comes to Ohio State, I mean, the recruiting office and the coaches, they see a superstar. In, and everybody here, whether you're scout team or anything, they're a superstar. Everybody's a superstar. It just it's when you crack into it, like when you actually can see it. And sometimes it takes others longer than others, but. <laughs> When it when it comes, it's gonna come. Who did you Who lean on during that time? I mean, did you lean on Coach Beck back there? I mean, did you talk, you know, with people? I mean, you mean back? Yeah. Who did you lean on for like encouragement or whatever you want to call it back while you were waiting to get your shot? Uh, just the guys around me. I mean, this program is something different. Every team in the country preaches brotherhood, and you know, this is my guy, this is my brother. But here, it, it's serious. Like everybody in that locker room, I will go to war for. So when times are down, times are hard, you look to your left and your right, and guy next to you, they really do have your back. What does this, okay, this stage do for um, this team? You know, being on first primetime game, you know, obviously there are those things. A ranked opponent after two teams that you guys were clearly better than. I mean, what do you think, has that added to anything this week with this team? Uh, we really don't look at, like, uh, you know, it's a big stage, big game or anything. We prepare for every game, just like the last one. And, uh, you know, that's go fast, hit people as hard as we can, and just keep going. But you do know that you were clearly better than Ohio State, better than Ohio State. This is the first real test for you guys. I mean, I know you treat every game like it's a big game. But how much of the measuring stick is this for you guys? Uh, I wouldn't say measuring stick. I have, uh, as, as a team, we have the most respect for TCU and everything, but we try our best to treat everybody just the same and you know, give them their best because we know we're going to get their best. What's that building like? I mean, obviously, to play in, you grew up down there. You were there as a freshman or a freshman when Ohio State played the championship. I mean, what, what's that building like? Well, how special is it to you? It's amazing, especially the, uh, the jumbo screen. <laughs> I remember my freshman year in high school when we played there, we couldn't stop looking at it. Like, we'd get in trouble if we look at it. But I mean, just the atmosphere there, and again, <laughs> being a big Texas guy, I, I love it. Yeah. Can you give us an example? Of, you talked earlier about how you're trained in team meetings <coughs> to think fast. Can you give us an example of something the coaches might do to train you to think fast in meetings? Uh, yeah, so like we'll be watching, let's say we're watching film and uh, Coach Stud might pull up up front and then he'll yell out a play and just play. So and so, so and so, uh, Meech, what you got? What you got? Three, two, one, uh, plays over, plays over. You gotta spit it out right then and there. And um, Michael had said that everyone on the offensive line has to ha understand the offensive line signings as well as the center does. Is that, is that true? And if so, <laughs> how does that help you? Yeah, a um, uh, big thing we preach here is being versatile. So if you play guard, you've got to know center. If you play center, you better know tackle. So, and it helps us in the game because uh, certain situations, you're like, okay, if I go here and do this, I know the guy next to me, he's going to do this. The guy over here, he's going to do this. And it just helps you out on the fly because it's a lot of stuff uh, with these defenses that we face and they move, out, move around a lot. So the pitcher's not going to be as clean as we want it to be. So we got to pick it up during the play. Let me Demetrius, just Coach Bates. Let me Coach Bates kind of help help you know your your line coach back there at uh, All Saints help you make up your mind <laughs> obviously he's from uh, here he didn't um, he didn't really push me one way or another i'd say he did a looking back now he did a really good job on that you know he's a big ohio state guy and everything but uh, he kind of let me make my own decision and i felt like that was best and when i did and i signed that paper he told me how happy he was and how much he wanted me to go here but you know, he did a good thing by just, if I had any questions to ask him, he'd help me, 
whatever like that. But so with, Demetrius, with, for Texas kids, but especially kids in the Fort Worth and Dallas area, how much is TCU a factor in recruiting? How much consideration do the best players give TCU? Uh, I feel like every Texas player considers TCU. Uh, you know, they're not a, a big school since they're a private school and everything, but uh, they're still a powerhouse down in Texas. So Along they do the, have that respect of, yes, of the kids in their pay. Along those same lines, Last question. in recruiting, does it help Ohio State any to have a game in the state of Texas? Like, for you thinking back to your time in recruiting, does it give them any kind of advantage to actually have a game in Texas to recruit the state of Texas? Hey, Big time, because um, <clears throat> for recruits to be able to just go down the street, go to uh, – uh, Cowboy Stadium and watch Ohio State play there in person, uh, that's, that's huge. And to know that maybe it's a possibility that if they go to Ohio State they can come back home and play, does that yeah. factor in too? Big time.